Hi, it's James Abila. Hey, it's Roger Sanchez. What's up? I'm Armin Van Buren. Tom Middleton. Dave Seaman. Fergie. Steve Angelo. Paul Wolford. Hey guys, I'm Marcus Schultz. This is Goldie, and you're in tune, and you're listening to DJ Sounds. Hi, this is Eddie Halliwell. This is Tayo. I'm laid back Luke. Hi, this is Joaquin Gabo, and you are watching DJSound.com. Remember, the invasion has just begun. You're listening to Dan Tate on the Pioneer DJ Sound Show on Ibiza Sonica. Yes, 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 yes. This is Dan Tate here for the Pioneer DJ Sound Show, and we're here for a very, very special edition. Now, being based in Ibiza, um, our sound has normally been kind of following the traditional Ibiza Sonica route of techno, deep house, house. But we're now, as I told you before, in our new lush surroundings uh, here in East London. Uh, we're at our new Hoxton studio and uh, here to break the house trend we've got one Mr. Jordan Suckley. Now, how are you doing, Jordan? <laughs> Very well, thanks. Loving the studio as well. <laughs> Excellent. Now, um, tell me exactly how are we going to be mixing things up today? Because you don't play house, do you? Well, I play like, obviously got a, I've got a few, I play a variety of things, basically. It's hard to fit in. I, I'm, I see myself more as a DJ rather than a producer, so I'm not bound by a certain style. I mean, I am a trance DJ, but I dabble in house, techno, and, you know, other things as well. Excellent. Now, um, how long have you actually been playing? Because you you told me earlier you're you're quite new to the scene. Mm -hmm. Tell me about how you've kind of broke fr broken through because it's been pretty explosive, hasn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, I basically won a DJ competition when I was 18. Then off the back of that, I started getting some other gigs in different areas. Uh, and I went to university and I bought a Pioneer mixer with my student loan. Honestly, it's like a good couple of weeks I couldn't go out or anything. <laughs> yeah, but that's basically where I learned my craft, learned how to scratch and uh, use the effects and things. Uh, when I was at university, I went to see. Um, I think like Eddie Halley was playing in Bristol or something, gave a CD and then the guy contacted me and said, oh, would you like to play a gig crash at all on uh, New Year's Eve or something? So basically went down and played there and then things just kind of snowballed from there really. I mean, how many years ago are we talking? Uh, I won the DJ competition when I was about 19, I think, 18, 19. And how many years ago was that? I'm 27 now. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. So, so a few years, but... Mm. Breaking it's a, into trance. In terms so. of, yeah, yeah. I mean, I started, I played like hard house techno at first, but in, t in terms of like being a professional DJ, it's only been three years breaking through. I only started producing three years ago, you know. Excellent. Yeah. I mean, but things are going pretty well. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where do you want to start? Should we talk about Radio One or should we talk about Good Grief? Yeah, Radio One, sure, yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, a bit of a dream come true, yeah? Yeah, definitely. I mean, speaking, I mean, for those that don't know in other countries, uh, BBC Radio 1 obviously is a kind of uh, industry standard uh, radio station and they've always had the most sort of cutting edge uh, dance music artists. So to garner a show, mm. uh, so is this part of the new DJs we trust? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. And how often are you on? Uh, basically, it's, uh, there's four DJs and we're on rotation, so we do it like every three or four weeks, um, nine till ten on a Thursday night. So. <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah. I mean, it all, it all came about because um, they actually contacted my agency last year, and I think it's like June, July last year. So it's been going like, over a nine-month period, and they're in contact saying we liked your uh, your demo that you sent in your pilot. Uh, kept in contact, they kept getting an email now and again saying, yeah, we'll, we'll know more soon, we'll know more soon. Then literally March this year, they said, okay, you've got your show, and they started in April. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to be honest, yeah. though, that's kind of how you want it, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Because exactly. you don't, you don't want to kind of, oh yeah, it's in six months' time, yeah. and then kind of, I imagine your kind of sound would be like, oh my god, I got to play, you know, for a national yeah. radio station, you know, and then you come into that horrible kind of crossroads as to whether what's going to happen. Are you going to change your sound, or are you going to mm. try and compromise, or yeah, so. Fantastic. And then, and then come on, what about Good Grief? Because they've been good to you, haven't they? Yeah, well, basically, Good Grief uh, is my management team as well. So they're the ones that kind of picked me up after they saw I was getting gigs in all these different areas. They invited me down for a meeting. I didn't know where it was. And there's like four different agents in there. And I was like, what's going on? They said, here's the contract. said, you can take it home and read it. I was like, no, no, I'll sign it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then since then, that's, that's when things took a massive change. Because I thought it was more of a hobby, you know, and then 2009, yeah. then that got signed, then just poof, Bang. crazy since then, yeah. 
<laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, we're going to catch you at the end of the show yep. to have another little catch up. But uh, what have you got in store? Today, oh, I'm going to just try and fit as many tracks in as I can, a bit of scratching. Obviously, the RMX effects you're loving that. And uh, yeah, a bit, bit of effort, really. <laughs> Excellent. Just going to give it a good yeah. old bash. Yeah. Brilliant. Excellent. Well, this is Dante here on the Pioneer DJ Sound Show. We've got Jordan Suckley coming up right away in the mix.
And don't forget you're checking out Jordan Suckley in the mix.
heavy, heavy stuff here on the Pioneer DJ Sound Show. Jordan Shuckley, Suckley. <laughs> it's the hardness, it's getting to me. Definitely blowing away the cobwebs here in Hoxton. Wow, I feel like it's like three o'clock in the morning. I want to break out the old glow sticks. Jordan Suckley here on the Pioneer DJ Sound Show in the mix on four CDJ 2000s, DJM 900 Nexus and RMX 1000.
Jordan's just told me this is Sunkist, forthcoming on spinning.
Just approaching the last 15 minutes of the mix. Wow. <laughs> Jordan Suckley here on the Pioneer DJ Sound Show.
Whoa. <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> to, to use a lovely English expression. I think there's definitely sweat pouring down the walls in here. I feel as though I've cracked open my glow sticks. It's four o'clock in the morning and I'm back at the Hard House Academy and it's, it's 2002. <laughs> showing, my, showing my roots. Um, Jordan Suckley, come around the other side. We need to have a little chat. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm sweating that, here, jeez. <laughs> did, did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I love it. Always. Well, as soon as I get on the decks, I get in the zone, I get lost then in the little world. <laughs> I, I love that. You know, when a DJ has an ability to, you know, whatever the situation, whether it's just like, you know, Wednesday night in Shoreditch, yeah. or, you know, being able to transport it to, you know, the middle of amnesia at four yeah. o'clock. <laughs> it's a true skill. Thank so. You for that. <laughs> So talking about Amnesia, mm. Ibiza, what's yep. going on? Where are you playing? Uh, I'm playing Judgment Sunday uh, twice this year. I've already played for the opening party for Just Jewels. I'm also playing the closing party in September. Uh, I'm also playing a couple of boat parties and uh, Esparadis and a few other bits as well in September. So I'm not over there enough though. I want to be over there more. <laughs> the manager's watching. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ibiza, do you have many roots with the island? Or is it uh, something that's yeah, quite well, new? As, as I mentioned before, when, when I went to university, that's when I first had my first taste of it. And then I saw Tiesto and Eddie Halley all playing there. I was like, wow, this is wow, insane. That's, that's a nice combo, actually. <laughs> yeah, it is insane, yeah. So that's basically what the seed was planted. But actually, it was Kevin and Perry the movie first, before all of that. <laughs> I was that to be honest, yeah. I think many people yeah. can probably state that as an influence. I, like, I want that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And then there's obviously the big festivals. Tell us about those. Yeah, I'm um, actually playing Global Gathering this weekend. That was my first festival last weekend. I played Wickerman Festival for like 30,000 people there. That was insane. Um, we've got yeah, Global Gathering this weekend, playing uh, the God's Kitchen Arena. I've got Creamfields, Electro City Festival in Poland. I've got a festival in Hawaii. Uh, Part Life Festival in Scotland as well. So there's like quite a few different ones on this year. It's all good. Excellent. Got, so you've wellies. got your festival set <laughs> yeah, ready, yeah? Yeah, brought some wellies last week, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now you were getting very busy yeah. on the decks. Yeah. Four CDJ 2000s, two white ones actually, mm. and uh, RMX 1000, mm. DJM 900 Nexus. Yeah. How long have you had that RMX? About two weeks. Two, two weeks? <laughs> actually, we used that for the first time at Wickerman Festival. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, yeah. you know your way around it. Well, I mean, obviously you you were using the roll a lot. Is yeah. that your favourite effect? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, love yeah. I get a bit carried away, I guess, I guess. But you can get like put some samples in it and stuff, which I've just done, and, like a percussive sound. You get the roll on that. It's got, it adds to the build, that doesn't it, and stuff. And yeah, you, especially when you get the pitch on it and done it. Drrr, all of that. It's addictive. <laughs> Excellent. And record box. Yeah, yeah, I got that as well. It's good. I like it uh, though. You can put your markers on the tracks. So you can see because I, I mix over breakdowns a lot of the time. There's the two tracks ah, at the same time. Right, so okay. I need the marker to see because sometimes some tracks got like a four beat. Delay or whatever. So yeah, mark you, can exactly you can see exactly on the screen. Then, what yeah, you're doing, so brilliant. Yeah, really good. It's not like the days of vinyl though, where no. you used to be like, oh, that bit's slightly different uh, colour to that no, bit. Well, scratches, so. needle fluff. <laughs> but, but is that your? That's your roots, sir. I mean, yeah. obviously, we saw some scratching on the on the white CDJs. Yeah. So that's your roots. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, is that how you won the DJ competition? Yeah, on what? vinyl. Yeah. Yeah, as I say, I first started off with that carrying massive bags. Actually, there's a club by my house. Um, it's a kind of a commercial club at the time, but I give him a house CD. Said, "Do you get me on?" And he thought, "Let me play." Like I used to take like massive bags of vinyl with me. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm glad they've gone. <laughs> Excellent. But um, the CDJs now, you know, the yeah. the loops are important for yeah, you. Definitely. The queuing is important, yeah, yeah. and then just organising all that. Yeah, music. I love the where you can loop things and then extend it to 32 or 16. That's brilliant. I love, love doing that. Excellent. Mm. So, uh, good grief. Yeah. You've got many gigs coming up for them because yeah, you're a resident. Got, yeah, I got their birthday. They, they tend to just do, um, like a few years ago, they used to do like a lot of smaller ones, and now it's just everyone's massive gigs. They've got like the 12th birthday coming up and leaving in a couple of weeks and all these different things. That's good. It's kind of awesome. like next level. <laughs> awesome. Now, now, I don't know. I know that with trance and mm -hmm. sort of hard house, particularly sometimes this could be a bit sort of controversial. Yeah. But sort of, you know, wh where do you sort of uh, land in the whole sort of Armin, Tiesto, above and beyond sort of Andy Moore, like sort of where do yeah. you sit in terms of your sound? I mean, and John Double O Fleming and all yeah. the juice stuff, so. Well, I kind of got my own thing, I guess. It's kind of like, I like, that's a bit of everything really, like mainly like trance, tech trance, but also I play warm ups. As I'm a, I'm a, I see myself more of as a DJ, where sort of the TS is that's more of a producer, so he'll play more of his tracks or whatever. Right, I'll, I'll happily turn up and play like a house set, not play any or a trance yeah. set or a side trance set as well, you know. 
So I kind of fit everywhere. Yeah, you, you just kind of you take all the best bits. Yeah, I just I'm a then... trans DJ. That's versatile. That's what I see me as myself as. Excellent. Now a couple of your own tracks in the mix. Yeah, you tell about us about three those? or four there. Yeah. So sounds of spinning records. I don't know. I've got to play their remix of Sound Pats and always bit of a classic trance track. So remix that on that's coming out in a couple of months. Also on the track Sunkissed and I think someone else. So I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, it's fantastic to have you on the show. Thanks very much. So uh, let's get all the information. What's your website? Uh, it's jordansuckley.co.uk or you can check out my Facebook slash Jordan Suckley and Twitter slash Jordan Suckley. Everything's on there. And if you're in the UK or if you want to sort of listen online, Radio 1? Yeah, Radio uh, 1, Thursdays, 9 till 10. Uh, New DJs We Trust. It's the fourth Thursday of every month it is. Excellent. And in B for when can people next week? Uh, so I think the 11th of September and first out there and then Judge and Sunday closings on the 16th. So if you go on the 11th, I'll be there like about three or four different gigs. <laughs> Wonderful. Jordan, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. So this is Dante here for a very different edition of the Pioneer DJ Sound Show. And I think we've well and truly opened her up. Um, expect many more different styles of music. We've got some very interesting people coming up over the next few months. And uh, we're actually going all year round. So... This is myself, Dan Tate, signing out here on the Pioneer DJ Sound Show after having Mr. Jordan Suckley as our special guest. See you next time. Bye.